Hey, I finally got my new tripod in. I got the phone case in for the phone I use ooh, to uh, record with. So here we go with this uh, new arrival update with my new, yeah, the new arrivals I got uh, with my new tripod and stuff. So I'm excited to actually have a good one that's not uh, held together by electrical tape. You lasted me a good time. It was time to say goodbye. Bye. Okay, anyways, you go. All right. Today's review is brought to you by Logan's Wallet. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by anything. Uh, but anyway, look, today we have the Iron Monger and Obadiah Stain two pack. <sighs> Ooh, sorry, from Hasbro Pulse. Um, really excited to have this, honestly. Uh, I think my son ran off with the other one, but that's okay. Um, I had the old Ironmonger from like the 2008 Iron Man toy line. Um, this is so much bigger, it's ridiculous. I think this was probably the size of the Ironmonger. Like it's maybe to there. So huge difference, like scale wise, it's fantastic. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. Um, real quick, I'll take a look at the accessories that it comes with. Um, one thing is going to be the bullets that you could put in the little minigun here, as well as the kind of smoke thing here. This is an accessory that comes out. Just plop it back in. And then, of course, it does come with the uh, shooting accessory as well. So, you know, kind of pose that around however you want. So, those are good. It does come with two other hands. They're both open. Uh, one left, one right. It comes with this like little laser gun thing, and my only guess to where to put it is up here. It doesn't click in very well though. Um, so that probably won't be something I use unless I just need to click it harder, I don't know. But from first light, it's it's very flimsy. It's not. Oh, there we go. Yep, I was just being a baby about clicking it in, I guess. Uh, the back pieces where the shoulders come off, it comes off very easily, like way too easy, and it makes me mad. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, articulation. He just has the single jointed things, um, elbows and knees, hands do a full 360. Um, they do bend a little bit. Uh, yeah, but wouldn't wouldn't do that. I don't think these come off if they do. It's not easy, but it has the full you know up and down movement of the arm. You can move it all the way back there. That goes that again. The only issue with that though, if you take this all the way back, you pop this out of place. Um, but you have you know the roundabout there, and then the arm swivel as well. Really, the biggest complaint I have is that like for as massive as this figure is. Why would we not just get double jointed stuff? Uh, but yeah, this goes this way. The leg goes up surprisingly a bit and surprisingly far back, which is nice. It has, you know, about that much side kick way. And then this is just kind of on a swivel. Um, but yeah, overall, it's really nice. And then on the back side here, this is what I'm talking about as a pain. So these little ball things here, which, again, it's like really good detailing and everything. But I've noticed, at least for me, to get it back in, I have to like somewhat bend it um, to get it placed in to put it back in. There we go. But then, you know, it just acts as a suspension piece. Same thing with this arm. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, the feet go... Oh. I don't like that at all. Yeah, probably do that again. <laughs> but yeah, and then like I said, this stuff, this just comes off way too easy. These also kind of pop out for the shoulder joints. Um, these move, okay, not very much apparently. They come off easily. So that just clips right in, so that's kind of nice. And then like I said with that, it just kind of clicks on really weirdly. But I guess it works, I just had to click it better. I'll place that back there put you behind and 
Now for Obadiah. Good old Obadiah, played by the great Jeffrey Bridges. Jeff Bridges, the dude. Uh, really good head scan, in my opinion. I like this a lot. Um, just a plain suited mold. Um, it doesn't have blood or butterfly joints or anything. It's literally just their regular suited body mold with an open jacket instead of a closed one. Um, he does have the open hand to which you can place the arc reactor in. Um, you know, like in Iron Man 1 when he takes it from Tony. So you can do that with him. He comes with a briefcase. It does open, um, but I don't know if I can just show him opening a briefcase. But yeah, that's um, kind of everything it comes with. The box art again is really cool. It's got that same Infinity Saga style art. Um, but yeah, I do. Like I said, I think it's good. I think a missed opportunity on Hasbro's end for it not having the full uh, articulation with the arms. Um, I just think as big as this figure is, why not just go that extra step to make it double jointed or at least make it somewhat more movable in a fashion, I guess. Is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but like I said, aside from those things, it's there, it's a really good figure. I like the detail. Um, you know, you get a little bit of movement. Not a ton, so like, you know, it looks up a bit more in the movie, but it is what it is. And then again, here's the newest Iron Man standing next to, in front of it. Um, yeah, I can't wait to take some pictures with this and kind of pose them around. I did make this Tony Stark, but I think the head looks a bit big on this body. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm going to fix that eventually, but yeah. Anywho, hope everyone has a good night and a good day. And, you know, like I said, let me know what I could do better. Um, comment. Leave a like, subscribe, anything. Have a good night, guys. Bye.